Okay. Um, here is a tutorial on like basic photo filter photo filter things and uh for beginners. And so I'm gonna show you how to do sun vectors. Well, how to add sun vectors, um, add normal backgrounds, grayscaling pictures, and then adding text with patterns inside. Um so to do a sun vector, just go over here and click polygon and go around the model. Um, I'm trying to go fast so you guys don't have to sit here and wait for me to go <laughs> kind of went off the screen there. Hmm. Okay, and then close it at the top. Right click, select invert selection. It should highlight the background of the opposite of what you highlighted. And click right click, stroke fill. And unclick stroke, click fill, and then fill pattern. And go into your patterns and select. Um, your background, this is just a normal background, so just select your background and click OK and it should fill in, yeah, <laughs> so it just goes. <laughs> um, how to do a sun vector, um, open up your picture, which I have open, and right click go to image size and right there is um, your size and Remember that 500, 666, it, de <coughs> it depends on um, your picture. So, and then open your sun vector. Right click, go to image size, and click, unclick preserve aspect ratio, and click uh, fill in the same as your other picture, and click OK. And I did that wrong. <laughs> okay. And it will be the same size now. Um, I think. Yeah. And, um, oh, okay. Save it. Okay, and then go on to your site model. Click Polygon. Go around your site model. My awesome going around skills. You like them? <laughs> okay, if you already have invert selection selected, it'll automatically go to that. Otherwise, right click and click invert selection. Right click, go stroke and fill, go in, unclick, stroke, click fill, and click pattern. Go into your patterns, go into your pictures, and select your sun vector and press OK. And it'll turn up like that. <laughs> and, okay. So that's how to do a sun vector. Um, grayscaling pictures is really pretty basic. Um, okay, sorry, problems, <laughs> okay, um, just go open your picture, and just go up here to this little cool thing, grayscale, and make sure you have it highlighted, <laughs> and grayscale, and it will automatically grayscale it, unless you want, like, a specific thing grayscaled go around it with your polygon tool or whatever you want and click grayscale and it'll grayscale it. Um, other things you can do with your picture um, go into filter and color and you can do revive colors which changes it like that you can do tarnish colors and they have a bunch of cool stuff that you can do in color you can mess around with it. Um, 
I'll show you how to do fades. I don't know if I showed you that in another tutorial, but just basic fade. Go up to the fade tool, which is gradient, and select two colors, mess around with the directions and stuff, and press OK, and show up like that. Um, text with patterns, just go up to the text tool, and that will pop up, change your font to whatever you want, and Um, type whatever you want, change the size, mess around with it. Um, click go to effects and then fill pattern. Effects is up there by the way. Um, <laughs> fill pattern, open your patterns, go into your pictures, and select your pattern. Press OK and it'll show up like that, which isn't a really good pattern for it because you can't really tell but it's on there or I'll show you a better pattern uh... photo filter comes with pattern so yeah and I spelled Hollywood wrong <laughs> okay. and it'll go like that and it'll insert patterns you can make a black line around it by clicking stroke and then going to your colors and click black and it'll put a black line around it so like yeah so if there's any other basic photo filter things you want me to show you, just message me or comment me or something, and I will try to help you out. Okay.